Sixty-nine percent. Ha, sixty-nine. John. <laughs> I love you, but not in that way, you fucking perverts. Um. Shit! I just realized. Is surprise shot? Is, dude, surprise shot. Yuki, like it's a it's a guy's name, right? Surprise shot is a guy. Oh, it's stuck on her head. Oh, that was so cute. Treatment. Fuck you, Chat Chan. <laughs> there you go. Our waifus, who art in 2D, hallowed be thy names. When waifus come, thy will be done. What's happening? Oh, uh, dude. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. yeah okay, I, I need to hear this uh, how Lee met Ella story again. I had it last night, but people need to hear this shit, man. Ella, do you want to tell the story? No. Tell, tell the story of how you first started streaming, and then I take mm. over how I found you. Well, I mean, the first time I streamed was like years ago, but it was on and off, and I didn't really take it that seriously. And then, I don't know, was it like May I started streaming properly? I streamed like every day, literally every day for a couple of weeks. Fuck. Um it was bad. I don't know how yeah. I did it when I look back. Yeah, why did you do that? Why? Because why I, did you I had every the, day? somehow I had the energy to do it. I just had not like you not you know not just physical energy, but I had the mental energy. I was like, mm -hmm. I'm having fun with this. Let's keep doing it. And then I think I did too much, and and eventually I started doing like every other day. Then it was maybe three times a week, yeah, and I then it went that. down. Yeah, I, so I, it went I remember down. you like asking me like, would it be a problem if like I streamed less? And I was like, dude, like do whatever you want. Like, why are you asking me? Mm. But, yeah. I know. Yeah, and I just felt bad because everyone was so used to um, me streaming every day, and I just yeah. But yeah. Um, that's it for the beginning, really. And then one of my first few streams, Lee popped in. And then I joined your stream and you were talking with Banana and you were all asked, like, Ella was asking herself, like, hey, how do I, like, like, there's a mod or something for, like, viewers to interact with, um, with, like, the stream. And I was like, yeah, the mod is called Twitch Toolkit. And Ella was like, oh, yeah, thank you very much. Um, and then we, like, kind of, like, talked, um, about, like, with each other, but I didn't follow her immediately, so that was the first day. So the second day came, and I like came back, even though I didn't follow her. Um, I came back, and I, I was like thinking to myself, like this can't, like this is like some thirty year old dude like using a voice changer um, oh, to change to, to change their voice because like nobody has like this cute of a voice, right? And I was like, I, like I, I just thought like this this can't be her real voice. And she didn't like had the doggos like doggo cam or anything. So you so you just see like Rimworld playing out and and Ella talking like stuff. <laughs> and <coughs> yeah, I then gave her a follow and I came back and I realized okay this is like Ella's real voice. But like I was like no one is talking like that. That can't be her voice. Like she's totally faking it. Like and all the I, I I was like all these fools like Banana and 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 Felix like they all are like head over heels for a doggo that doesn't exist because she was talking about Midori but you didn't hear Midori like she doesn't bark has anyone here ever heard Midori make a sound no so Midori yeah, doesn't make a sound she's a very quiet dog she's a very quiet dog so nobody ever heard anything of Midori and there wasn't a dog or cam so you like I was like yeah you guys are head over, <coughs> over heels for a person who's using like who's like 30 40 years old using a using a voice changer and and a dog that doesn't even exist yeah and then in the end like it turned out like <laughs> <laughs> In the end, it turned out that, oh, Ella's a real person, damn. 
<laughs> and she's not 40 years old. Well, Ella, just so you know, even if you were a 40-year-old um, slob of a dude using a voice changer, I would still love you just as much as I love you now, so... <laughs> Aww. And even if Midori didn't exist, I would, uh, I would still love the spirit, the idea of Midori just as much. <laughs> Aww. We could have, like, if, if Midori didn't exist, we could have, like, Shino make, like, uh, sketches of Midori. I oh, shit. Sure. He could sketch her anyway, but, you know... First yeah. doggo VTuber. <laughs> First doggo VTuber? That sounds pretty yes. good to me. Ella, get on it. Ella, Ella and Shino, get on it, yo. <laughs> Doc said, Lee, oh, Doc said go ahead. Lee be like, press X to doubt, and I smashed the X button. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah, 100% man. Um, I can't believe it? you thought that. <laughs> I mean, Midori. Midori is mine, like, I, I adopted her, mm -hmm. so it's not like she was given to me or anything. Yeah. And when did you adopt Midori? How long have you had Midori for? Since she was a puppy. Oh, shit. I could tell you the Midori story. Oh, well, that's what I'm asking. That's what I'm asking. The, 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 the Midori origin story. Guys, yeah. like, listen up, because, like, after this, there will be two secrets about Midori, like finding her way to stop the Joker and where she breaks her back and comes back to defeat Bane. So li li listen to the Midori origin story right now. I call it I call it Midori Rises. Okay, there you go. There you go, Ella. Interesting. Very unique. Yeah. Um so I rescued her from a shelter, basically, and um, there was a group of puppies and she happened to be the last one left. She was the runt of the litter um, and I brought her home. Basically, they found her, um, you know, a puppy farm. They, they rescued her and her parents and I think some other dogs as well from like a puppy farm or something. So, yeah, that's where she came from. But after I adopted her, she was super ill, um, and I had to take her to the vets. Uh, they thought she had Parvil. Luckily, it wasn't Parvil. Wait, what's um, Parvil? Quick rundown of Parvil. Parvil. It's a super serious illness that if they don't treat as soon as possible, they can it can kill them, or it probably will kill them. Oh shit! Um, it's super bad. I don't know. It's I don't know like if it's got a different name or something. But, um, yeah, so they thought she had that, she had to stay in overnight and stuff, and I was, like, so upset. And luckily she made it through, she was fine. And then she, as she grew up, she started to help me with my depression. And then oh, right. it's the story of her helping me. Oh. Well, and now so, you're helping each other. And you're yeah, and that's how I like, yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. I so, like to see it that way. Yeah. <gasps> Oh yeah, the lady and her coffee story. Okay, Daniel, I'm gonna briefly tell your story because it's fucking hilarious. Yeah, I want um, to hear I, this I, might story. Miss, I might miss some details, but Daniel can tell it to you properly at some point. But I think he was like walking down the street or something in Germany, and someone asked him for directions, but he had his headphones in. So like, and she was holding a coffee cup. So what he basically did is he just saw this person like trying to get his attention and what he did is he took two euros out of his pocket and he put it in her <laughs> And it was like a, it was like a full fucking cup of coffee dude and he's just fucking stood there just like after he realizes what's fucking happened and he's just like oh Oh, yeah, that, that's a, that's a dumbass well, moment. Yeah, though. that is a dumb. Okay. Yeah, I can understand why people would think that he's dumb I, I want you guys to describe each other with three adjectives. Okay, um, Ella, start then. Um... So three adjectives for a weeb and then three adjectives for me. Uh... Weeby. <laughs> Weeby, um... Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I'm trying to think of the word. Like, you tell it how it is. Honest? Or straightforward? I guess. Yeah. I guess, yeah. Um, and happy. Sick. I like that. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. What was that it? was uh, difficult. Happy, weeby, and straightforward. Yes. Okay. <laughs> um, 
so Lee, I'm gonna go with mean, <laughs> um, Shit. evil. Oh god. Um, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, she she just needs two. She just needs death and despair. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um. Uh. So Lee is sarcastic. Um. <laughs> He is playful and um uh um <laughs> oh god um um uh, oh god come back to me for one Okay okay fine fine for Lee I've got wait can I have three sentences <laughs> I hate doing three words I hate doing uh, three you words. You have to ask Shino. He paid one of our bits for this, so you have to ask him. Shino, can I can I do like three sentences, like just basically three things that I love about Lee or that I think about Lee? Does it have to be one word? Yes, oh, he allows it. He's allows it. I've oh, come yeah. up with something, but again, I don't really know how to, what the word for it is. Like oh. you, when you're you're honest about things, and you're like willing to look back and see and realize. If you've done Self something aware. wrong, Self yeah, you're and reflective, yeah, <laughs> reflective, honest. yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. I like it. <laughs> I like it. So sarcastic, playful, and reflective. I don't know if that like, <laughs> like, uh, says like what it says about me. Okay, so wait, let's go. You have like the right to do um, sentences. Uh, I, I just want to. I just want to say three things. Yeah. So the big one for Lee, first off, is just wholesome. The yes. Best Best wholesome streamer, like obviously, right? <laughs> yes. Number two is just massive fucking dick. Right. <laughs> Lee's got the balls to just do whatever the fuck he wants. I love that about him. One of the biggest things that me and Lee like bonded over immediately, like when we first jumped into each other's streams, was the fact that we both had like big ambitions that we were trying to make our jobs, right? So like I'm a musician, I managed to make music into my job, Lee's a chef. And yeah, he's fucking smashing that. And he has the dream to get the Michelin star, right? So that's it. We bonded over that. So that's, that's big dick. That is some big dick shit. Um, and number three. I don't know, dude. You're just fucking hilarious. That was the other thing. Like, remember the thing that made me sub to you in the first place was when I first, like, um, I asked for a soul stare. And I was literally sat at my desk like this. It's like fucking crying, laughing. You could say entertaining. What's entertaining that? yeah 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 it's just yeah just whatever those words are man just yeah. fucking yeah just fucking hilarious bro but yeah <laughs> wholesome big dick fucking hilarious yeah, um, wholesome big dick fucking hilarious i love it ella man i feel like ella deserves the wholesome tag as well though like well why why not like um i don't think that uh, the wholesome tag is like reserved for one person but you do man like ella my my, uh, like, I guess, strong memory of you from when I first, like, met you and we started hanging out in each other's streams was you coming into my stream for the first time and you told me something, whether or not it was true or it's not true or anything like that, but you made my day because it was, like, it was, like, one of my first ever fucking streams, like, a lot of the people who are regulars in my chat that are in the chat right now fucking love you guys. Like, they were still new to the thing. And you just came in one day and you were just like, Weeb, I love your fucking stream. And I was just like, fuck, dude. <laughs> fuck. Yes, it, don't be silly, that wasn't a lie. Well, wasn't it even the know... first thing she said? Like, she came into the stream and she was like, hi, and then she was like, I love your stream? Pretty much, dude. Yeah, I, I think like... I remember that scene. So yeah, Ella gets like the super mega wholesome tag, um, <laughs> of course. Um, cutest fucking voice on Twitch. That's yeah. what I tell everyone. Yeah. When, I, when, I, is, yeah. Yeah. when I tell people about Ella, I'm just like cutest fucking voice on Twitch. Like, <laughs> please, please just go. Cutest doggo, yes, but cutest voice on fucking Twitch. And um, <laughs> oh, third thing. So super mega wholesome, cutest voice on Twitch. Um. Hmm. Why is three a hard number? I struggle with three. I can come up with two and then three is like... Yeah, like wholesome is such a encompassing word. It describes so many things. But, um... I don't know, man. It, 
what 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 do you call people is there a word for someone that's just easy to get along with like i feel like even with you lee to be fair like it just took no time whatsoever even though i barged into your community and i was like yo put me on automatic promotion bitch like is it, is it maybe like is it like open-minded maybe I, don't I, know, I, I, I get what you mean like we just easy to get along with we just like yo what's up and yeah just roll yeah dark like dark friendly friendly is the word but it's like i wanted to kind of think of something like deeper than that but like yeah ella i just i feel like we got along really quickly like i jumped into voice chat with you guys and it was just like yeah i'm friends with these people so yeah, <laughs> yeah that's uh, and, that, and that's how you that's how you made me feel ella so yeah th th those are my three things i went in i went fucking in this is kind of a different stream than um we all usually do but I'm still having like a lot of fun. Feel like a true German, love it. <laughs> so, um, okay, but before we're done and before we carry on with uh, Daniel's, um, describe the community in two sentences. Wait, um, you didn't do me yet. You yeah, fucking, yeah, you that's skipped why, me. No, 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 no. I, 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 <laughs> like, let me talk like for a second. Um. <laughs> Yeah, before Alice. we do that, I have to do, like, we... Oh, hey, Alice, Sorry. how are you doing? Sorry, I just saw Alice and I wanted to say hi. How you dare you say interrupt hi. me? How dare you interrupt me? Midori, Sorry. look at me. Look at me, Midori. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Yeah. What are you looking at, huh? What are you looking at? <laughs> <laughs> nice soul stare, weeb, yeah. True. <laughs> Midori, you so cute. Yeah. So, um, okay, so three adjectives for weep and then a haiku for weep as well, of course. <laughs> Talk over Tran, fuck you else. So, three adjectives, so I would be... First one would be easygoing. Um... <coughs> because again, you're like very easy to talk to. And... And... I don't know, it was just easy to connect with you and it's always a fucking delight because like even the stream is also only possible because you were like, yeah, fuck it, like do it. So I think the second objective would be like spontaneous. You're very spontaneous. Like, like you're even like the, the idea of like maybe like giving up your music career is also like very spontaneous, right? So you're very, very like quick to, to get up with ideas. And the third one would be nice feet believing <coughs> because like you believe in people but you also like believe in the weepdom um, and, and you pray to the weeps and that's really cool but also like you believe like every time i like i'm like yeah do you think like this idea might work and you're like dude like if you're the one doing like yes it's gonna work out like you make me feel good about myself even if i don't feel good like it's just like i'm like yeah i don't know if that could work and you're just like dude if it's you of course it will fucking work and i'm like yeah yeah i think it will work let's fucking do it man <laughs> The hype man. Yeah. That's sweet, dude. Encouraging. I, I that. Encouraging, maybe, I guess. Yeah, maybe encouraging. Okay, so Ella. <coughs> the adjectives that I would use to describe Ella would probably be um, trustworthy, um, understanding, and. Um, it's the third one again. No, I know Understanding what I, I, is a very I, I, I good know. word for Ella. Huh? Understanding is a very good word for Ella. Yeah. Just saying. Um, yeah. And, <coughs> and the third one is like... Like, I don't know how to say it, but like... She... She is so... <laughs> good. I wouldn't say naive, but she's so good-hearted that she needs to be protected sometimes. For her own good. Yeah, yeah, I don't know how to like <laughs> say it. I mean, precious. I feel like she's precious. <laughs> yeah, precious. I feel like naive kind of fits. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe naive. Yeah. <laughs> Simp moment. Yeah, this is, 
Yeah, this is, this is like sim simping. We're all simping for each other now. Because I'm doing um, Ghost of Tsushima right now, like the game playthrough. I'm gonna do a haiku Oh my haiku god, a haiku. Well. I'm gonna yes! do a haiku oh! as well. Come yes! on, hello. Chino, best 100 bits spent yeah, ever. Best, best 100 yes! bits. Weeb, are you ready for your haiku? Give it to me, baby. <laughs> Okay, so it starts. Strong Earth's foundation, trees and plants growing, warm earth, sweet rain. Holy shit, bro. So what I wrote, the haiku I wrote is, out from the dark, kindness in the light, fame dies, but benevolence survives. What the fuck? Did you wait? Did you write that? Oh or my did you god! Feel that from somewhere? No, I just I just wrote it down. I just are wrote you it fucking down. serious? No, I'm not fucking. I'm fucking serious. I I just wrote it down, dude. I've been playing yeah. Ghost of Tsushima for weeks now, man. I'm a fucking high wait, what? king. Holy shit, dude! That's fucking good. That was fucking beautiful. Thank fuck. You, thank you. And the darkness stands for Midori, of course. And since we yes. just listened to the story of how Ella like got like saved by Midori, I was thinking about like out from the dark, oh. like out, like out oh. from the kindness of the doggo Midori, Ella's kindness steps into the light. Because if not for Midori, Ella might not be the same person we have like today. And oh. so the kindness just comes into the light because Midori is there for Ella and even if like she never gets to fame twitch famous or something else She will always be the good person that we all know and that will survive in all of our hearts Oh, Lisa oh my god, I love it. <laughs> yes, Lisa. I love I'm, it I'm, so much. I'm genuinely fucking impressed. What the yeah. fuck? <clears throat> oh my god. My brain is smoking oh. right now. Yeah. I thought you were gonna <laughs> write some fucking Bullshit. I thought you were gonna write some trash, but it had like a deep meaning and everything. Like there was an actual metaphor in there. Fuck, dude. Yeah. Of yeah. course. GG, bro. Again, again, I'm Lee Sakai. I, I, I'm the son of... Uh, I'm the I'm the nephew of the Jito, so I have to like be able to do those haikus. Okay, so... I'll fucking we... drink to that. Yeah, I'll I'll drink to drink that. to that as well. But I'm drinking water. Yeah, let's, let, let's drink to that. <laughs> okay. Wait, Ella, are you... What are you drinking? Ooh, oh, I love, bro, oh, dude, that stuff, I can only have, like, two bottles until I feel, like, fucking sick, but it's so it tasty. It is very sweet, yeah. Ugh, it's so good, though. Mm. Okay, well, cheers. Cheers, guys. Cheers, everyone. Cheers, chat. Cheers, Thanks chat. Thanks for joining us, by the way. Thank yeah. you all for fucking joining us. Thanks, everyone, for joining us. Yeah.